for such a densely populated country, Germany has a lot of beautiful countryside, so if you enjoy hiking, you may be tempted to do some, or at least go for some short walks. If so, then this is a video for you. In open country, you're free to go almost wherever you like. Almost. Don't go into any area that's fenced off or marked as private, and don't go into any field where crops are growing. But while you have a lot of freedom when walking, the same is not true of camping. You're only allowed to camp at official campsites or on private property with the permission of the landowner. You're not allowed to camp anywhere else. Germany is not a dangerous place for hikers and it's quite densely populated so you're never far from civilization. Still, it is possible to get lost or injured, but at least if you do, you know that the emergency services are just around the corner. Just make sure you have your phone with you all the time and you should be fine. Now, Germany does have some poisonous plants, so don't eat any berries that you don't recognise and definitely don't eat any mushrooms unless you really, really know what you're doing. Otherwise, the only things you have to watch out for are thorns and stinging nettles, which are unpleasant, but not dangerous. As for animals, wild boar are the most dangerous, but will usually avoid humans. Just keep out of their way and you'll be fine. Rabies is almost unknown in Germany. Ticks are common in some areas and can spread disease, so check yourself in the shower and remove any ticks you find. If after a few days you notice some ring-like markings around the bite mark, see a doctor. Germany is crisscrossed with hiking trails, from the long distance ones right across the country to short round trips for afternoon strolls. They're indicated by way markings, which can be geometric shapes, letters, numbers, or other symbols, sometimes veritable works of art. You'll find them attached to, well, posts like this, to trees painted on rocks or walls or, well, anywhere convenient. Now, these way markings are of course printed on old-fashioned paper maps for walkers, but you can also find online maps showing these hiking and cycling trails. Now, in some places you may see signs like this giving information on things like the local history, geology and wildlife, as well as giving tips on where to go for a walk. And if you're ever driving in the country and you see something like this, it's a good place to stop and get your boots on. So that's basically it. If you enjoy hiking, Germany has you covered. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not send me a postcard? Here's the address. Or visit rubos.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my blog. Now, these way markings are printed on old-fashioned paper maps for walkers, but you can also find online maps showing 